to learn about environment, I think it's very important. If we had the materials that we needed, I think everything will just be easy. some of the GLOB protocols. So those girls who are to go through the cloud protocol, maybe you can take us through your session. The floor is yours. Cindy, what type of cloud are you seeing? Traders. How many percent is it? Ten percent. Ten percent. One of the challenges we faced when we started implementing the GLOB program was the issue on um, the equipment. The wind is flowing from the north to south. Here in Kenya, we have what we call the digital divide, where people within cities and towns have access to more updated resources, where people in remote areas might not have that access to those technologies. In this rain gauge, we use it to measure amount of rainfall. As a teacher, I guided the girls in making those weather instruments. So because here we have the local materials that is available, the girls improvised the instruments that they were using today. To learn about environment, I think it's very important. Sometimes we want to study about maybe something on online, but you don't have. It's just, it's awkward. Because, for example, if you are called for a competition, you see other groups are bringing the things that they are required, and you are just bringing the homemade ones. The judges, they will just know that you, you know nothing, even if you know. If we had the accurate materials that we needed, I think everything will just be easy. I grew up in a rural setting near the foothills of the Abadeas Mountain, which is somewhere in central Kenya. And I have seen over time how the environment has changed. Yeah, you can remove one. one we used to have permanent rivers. The rivers have become seasonal. And for me, I wanted to understand more in terms of what was happening to the environment. My name is Charles Mongi. I'm the Research, Education and Outreach Lead at the Kenya Space Agency. I help coordinate the GLOBE program in Kenya. The GLOBE program is an international program to promote hands-on learning for students. What we try to propagate is the capability of the students to get to interact with the environment and collect data, then use that data for informing decisions. Scientists from the University Corporation of Atmospheric Research, UCA, they were kind enough to provide us with a 3D printer that we would use for fabrication of the automatic weather station. In autumn, we'll be taking a weather station that is capable of measuring the wind direction, wind speed, solar illumination, relative humidity, pressure, air temperature, as well as the precipitation. So good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. For you to be able to tell what is going to happen in the future, you have to know what happened in the past. So we observe the environment so that we are able to understand it much more. What do you think this is? Barometric pressure. Barometric pressure, and there's also something else. Temperature. 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 So what do you call this? An anemometer. So this is our rain gauge. If you notice, it has a hole at the bottom there. So that hole is the one that directs it into this. We call this one the tipping bucket. All that data comes and then it is stored in this device here. This device is called a Raspberry Pi. 
That should be fine. That should be fine. That should be fine. You should always think of yourself as a person who either makes this or makes this technology. And you can. You can. I also come from a village. It's not very different from here. You know, we sent a satellite into space at one point, Kenya sent. I was part of that team. So what I am trying to say is that you can realize your dreams if you only believe. That is our weather station. So it is now a property of our doom. <laughs> well, the weather station, it's amazing. So I think it will benefit us a lot. I know now we will get actual accurate measurement of rain, wind. The Globe Observers has just inspired me. I just wished to be to go in space one day one time.